Hey guys, Anthony here. A Saturday, May 21st, 2022. Um, I wanted to show you a food source, rice. I think many of you would agree that rice is probably a basic staple around the world. You see it uh, when food trucks are delivering uh, food to um, people in starving regions of the world where hunger is a real issue. Um, you see bags of this being dropped off and people fighting over it, killing over it, etc. Well, we're getting to the point in our country where uh, this right here that I'm holding in my hand, uh, this 4.25 cups of rice that yield approximately 4,000 calories if you cook it and can serve, be part of meals for two people for up to a week if you mix it with the right other types of food. Um, this little seltzer bottle, 33 ounce bottle, let it dry out, rinsed it, filled it with rice, labeled it. I can put it on a shelf. I can save it for later. I could take it with me in a kit to have some source of nutrition to add to whatever I whatever else I have as part of my kit, whether it's a a bug out bag, a um, a car kit, an RV kit, a kit to put at another location, maybe at a parent's house, uh, a friend's house, and you store twenty or thirty of these. For yourself at that location along with some other stuff and you have yourself food insurance life so how much is this worth to you it depends how hungry you are because if you're starving this is worth a million dollars this is worth a gold coin a roll of silver you get what I'm saying putting aside food now is of utmost importance. Actually, it's been an important part of many preppers' plans for years. And people have been screaming from the rooftops that you need to prepare for a rainy day. It doesn't have to be something tragic or something out of the ordinary. It could be for very simple things. It could be a downturn in your job. Uh, where you're now making less money um, and forced to use some of your stored food to supplement what you have to buy. Or it could be for an orchestrated collapse, which is what we're seeing around the world, where they've come out and told people, physically told people, leaders from around the world, that this is going to be on short supply moving forward. They're telling you that this is going to be on short supply. This little bottle of rice is going to be in short supply around the world on a global scale. Now, why is that all of a sudden? It seems like things happen step by step by step. And in our country, um, it seems like the well-orchestrated waltz. If you've seen a, a two people do a, a waltz or some kind of, you know, one of the one of the dances that is very elegant, and you see that their their footwork, their timing, their uh, their their grace is just all perfectly rehearsed and practiced. And if we look back, going just the last couple of years, I'm not even saying to go back to other administrations that were in office. Uh, and some of the things they did to bring this about. Uh, but just the last two years, we've seen this dance and these moves that are being made globally, and they're often telegraphed ahead of time. They're often telegraphed ahead of time, where they tell you that, hey, we have to get ready for this or that, and here's how we're going to do it. We're going to work on an answer because we see this coming. We're going to work on a solution because we see this coming. Um, 
and as we're down the road now, um, several months or one quarter into 2022, it seems like things have accelerated. It's almost like somebody just put the, a brick on the gas pedal, on the accelerator pedal, and um, we're just moving at breakneck speed from event to event to event. Pandemic went down for a while, for several months, but war rose up. Now, pandemic rising up, new breeds of uh, sickness are coming on the scene. War is still waging. Economies are struggling. Food supplies and delivery channels and delivery uh, supplies, supply chain lines are broken. Countries are in need of answers. You're seeing people align, countries aligning with each other to form uh, battle lines, if you will. But if you take a step back and you look back and you look down on what's going on, you could see this all is a very well orchestrated waltz. It's a very well orchestrated dance that's being done right now by the people that run the world. They're putting the, pulling the wool over people's eyes. They're, they're relying on their dumbing down and their propaganda that has been going on for years and years and years. And most people have been listening to it because we see the reactions that have taken place the last two years. And you can see that most people have been uh, drinking the Kool-Aid, so to speak, from these people. We see that their plans always seem to be effective and they always seem to get the result that they're looking for. And so I appeal to you today to not just focus on one aspect of what's going on, like high gas prices, diesel shortage, supply chain shortages, disease, pestilence, uh, world war, alien invasion, <clears throat> falling away from biblical beliefs and embracing satanic teachings. Because scripture talks about all that. It talks about the world is being deceived. I say it in every one of my videos on this topic that the beast system is being built. And I've been saying it since 2008, since I've been on YouTube. The beast system is being built. In fact, it is almost completed now. They're putting a couple of finishing touches on the house right now. The foundation is built already. The walls are up, the sheetrock's up, the electrical wiring is done. The spackling, the installation of fixtures is done. The roof is on. The doors and windows are in. Things are just being fitted now, fine-tuned and sanded and patched. And walkthroughs are being done as to, is this house ready to open? And I use the symbol of a house ready to open because when this new system is ready to be rolled out, Everything that's happening up to that point would, will be part of this waltz that was being done by the elites, the globalists, the power structure, the military industrial complex, whatever you want to call it. It's all ultimately run by the, by the God, small g, of this world. And those people that are following the God of this world will go right along into the B system. Everybody talks about, I was having a conversation last night with someone. And they said, well, is that the mark? I'm not taking the mark and the mark, the mark. Listen, the mark is going to be the natural occurrence of people that are already, have already accepted the B system. It's just going to be Okay, that just makes sense with, with all that's going on. It's just the final step I need to go through. They're already in the beast. They're already part of the system. The mark is just the final stamp on their uh, ultimate uh, destiny. 
And so if you're one of those people that say, well, I'm, I'm going to do all this stuff and been listening to these elites and these people over the last couple of years and have done everything that they said because you want to help your fellow man or whatever they, they bullshitted you with, um, whatever they got you to believe, you're going to go hook, line, and sinker right into the next phase. Don't think you're just going to suddenly say, oh, that, that's where I draw the line. I, I have to stop. This is scripturally, this says that no, you've already have fallen away and you're already headed down that road. What you have to do is pull back, look at what scripture says, follow what it says, do what it says, and call on the Most High Yah to rescue you, to give you guidance and strength to not be part of the system that's coming. Is that going to be easy? No, it's not. The Bible talks about that he makes war with the saints. War means fighting, fighting means killing. If he's going to make war with the saints, he meaning the God of this world, Satan, if he's going to make war with the saints, it's not going to be easy for the saints. Is that correct? It's not some kind of just magical uh, words that you say and all of a sudden all your troubles go away. No, it's not. You're in a battle for life, physical life in this war because he comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. And one of the things that gets people to, and why I go back to this from the beginning of the video, everyone knows that without this, we cannot function and exist correctly. Without food and water, it is very easy to get people to do and bend to your will. So whoever controls this and administers this or creates shortages of this can get people to go the next step. People that maybe ordinarily would never have done what is being perpetrated. Without this, people will do almost anything. So is it imperative that you have some of this to, to help you in your physical struggle? And that will also increase your physical, your spiritual ability to think correctly and to think straight. This is not a prepper saying, you got to put down a year's worth of this. No, this is a long-term battle we're in. This is the battle for the next phase of this world system. It's going to be an ongoing war, an ongoing battle, an ongoing struggle for the believer. It's not going to be one and done and now we go back to normal. It's going to be an, an active way of life, a struggle for survival. So think about this, having some of this in the upcoming struggles that are coming because without it you may bend be forced to bend to their will and whatever that is whether it's to give up certain rights and privileges your guns uh, people will do almost anything and it's a way to get people to do almost anything is to control this and it's no secret you see it around the world so having a supply of it is a very good idea. I'm not saying you have to become a prepper. I'm not saying you got to join some kind of group. I'm saying you have to think what's taking place and what's being perpetrated on the world. And that it's all orchestrated. It's an orchestrated waltz. It's a grand waltz that's being spun. And it's supported by many, many tentacles in, on both sides of the political aisle. Because there's only one real, um, in, in, in the world that's being built right now, in the system that's being built, there's only a group of people that adhere to one 
one entity, the God of this world. They will worship him, support him, and do his will because that is their God. Those of us who are there are few that won't go along with that program and won't fall for that because we know the truth. Therefore, the truth sets you free. But being free requires, is going to require battle. And it's mostly in the spiritual realm that it will occur, although it will be physical, because he does come to steal, to kill, and destroy. So think about that this weekend, this Shabbat, as you go about your day. Um, pray for wisdom, for guidance, for protection, for to be men of action, to have a renewed mind, to stand for something. I'm not talking about patriotism, 4th of July, devotion to a flag. That's much, much higher than that and much, much bigger than that. It has to do with where you're going to spend eternity. Where you're going to go when, you, you know, when you're woken up on Judgment Day and you hear, well done, good and faithful servant. The words that believers want to hear. And not away from me, you evildoer, I never knew you. For people that were posing or people that were opposed to the word. Because there's only two types of people at the end those that go into the lake of fire and are burned up and forgotten about and don't exist anymore and those of us that go to be with the bridegroom in a new earth think about it over the weekend and don't get caught up in the whirlwind that's taking place to steal your soul. Anthony signing off. Stay ready.